All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBing. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Knoxville, Tennessee, USA. Yeah. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the US. well he's got the longer reach and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch game of inches right there boy wow it was a good night if that landed Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Just missing on the uppercut there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Blocks the shot. What a body kick. 
And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Big call punch land. Now we get back to range. Look at him drive his chin into the opponent's body with that body kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You've got to slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Back and forth we go! Nice straight punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Try to establish that jab. Oh, is that a good knee to the body there by Lee? Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the chin. The elbow cut to the rim. The jab goes out. The jab comes right back to the face. It's picture-perfect technique, almost like a Tybo class or something like that. Liver kick. Oh, good kicks. Single collar tie now. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strike. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Head kick lands. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, that's a good knee to the body there by Lee. Oh. Outstanding output on both sides. Body shot there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. And he switches his stance yet again. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Man, he keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Certainly buckled him earlier in the fight. He knows he's hurt there. Oftentimes, it takes just one to get his opponent oh! down to the canvas. Oh, he's 
certain the finish could come at any time. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. He's trying to stay in this fight. Oh! Oh! He's out! He got it! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 48 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Yeah. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that would be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight he did exactly that. Congratulations.